Mr. Truck here at the NATDA, the 10th anniversary in Indianapolis, Indiana. And I'm here with Andy Ackerman, the president. How's it going? This is the 10th year. It's exciting. 10 years. Yeah, it's pretty amazing for us. It's our largest show that we've ever put on. Uh, 350,000 square feet of show space, over 252 exhibitors, and 668 dealerships. Largest show we've ever done. Oh, wow. That's cool. I was at the first one. I can't believe that was 10 years ago. But this is awesome. This is such a good thing for the trader industry. This is what we needed. I'm glad you put it on. And I'm glad you've lasted. Well, thanks. Congratulations. Thanks, Kent. Appreciate you being you, here. You betcha. Mr. Truck here at the NATDA. This is the 10th anniversary, so it's really cool. We're showcasing the better products here at the show. And I'm here with Kent Madison. Cool name, Kent. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> He's got Jackie up. Oh, you've probably seen that on our videos. We use Jackie up all the time. It's a way to get rid of your jack so it's not hitting your tailgate, not in the way, not going to you know, crunch and you drop your trader off your ball because you put the wrong size on. All those things that right. cause problems. And I want to see his new things now. This is a new jack foot. Right. Called so the Jackie foot. I and like the idea. An, it's an adjustable foot that gives you 10 inches of adjustment. So instead of carrying that block of wood around and you got your 2 by 6 and your 2 by 8 and your 2 by 10, <laughs> you could just carry one Jackie foot and it solves that problem. Well, that's so cool. So as an example, here's, here's the jack and the Jackie up. So we take the typical three turns. You can take the jack out, lift it up out of the trailer, and here's your foot. So this is the Jackie foot, and what it has is it has a movable insert inside here that you can pull this pin and then move that insert up and down in two inch increments to different positions. So if you want to drop it down lower or you raise it up higher, you can slide this up and down wherever you want it. This is made out of real sturdy solid steel, again, made in the USA. We make them ourselves. It looks powder coated. Is that what it is? It's powder coated, yep. Cool. Powder coated with the same powder coating we use on this. It comes with the same. Um, satisfaction warranty, but it's just it is extra extra strong. We made it. It's heavy, but it's strong. It's going to be the last foot you'll ever need. So now you can pull this out, move this up and down, and you can see it changes the height, the position of the jack. So as an example, if the jack was in place, the jack is now down low like that, or the jack can be at any place you want. So you basically have have added that much throw which is 10 inches on this 12 inch jackie but we also make a 10 inch one well, that's the other good. nice thing about the jackie up when you go to stick the foot on instead of having to crank the jack up and down to get the foot to fit just set your foot underneath it I drop the jack right down into the foot and then turn it that sixth of a turn and you take one two three cranks this is now up in the notches where it's solid and now you're starting to jack your trailer up oh that's so cool it works really nice from that standpoint and the oh, foot yeah. is just another feature of the Jackie products. If you if you wanted to, one of our other options is the here. Why don't you hold that for a second? Okay. Yeah, is the Jackie station. So envision this is bolted underneath it. Now you take your foot and you put it up here, and you can store your foot on the trailer, also upside down, above the trailer frame, mm -hmm. out of the way, and then your your jack itself stores in this side over here. Yeah. So now you've got yeah. the jack stored on the trailer and the foot on the trailer. Right, yeah, so, we've done that before. That's yes, cool. Your traders have got these units also. Yeah, now that's what I want to see is every year you come out with some more new product to add to it. <laughs> we want well, that. We do have the, the Jackie wall, which is pretty simple. Oh yeah, this I've is, got one of those. Okay, yeah. So now you've got this mounted inside your trailer, inside the wall of your trailer. You just, un, you just hook to your trailer, set your foot on it, drop your jack down through the Jackie wall, back into your foot. And we recommend you set this towards you not carrying the thing, it's just holding it so it doesn't move. Now this is sitting inside the trailer. Inside the trailer, right. yeah, that's out what I was thinking. Out of the salt, out of the dust, out of the theft issue. When you're ready to go, I'm going to open your trailer door, pick this off, and take this with you. And now you're ready to unhook the trailer again. So that was a, a newer product. Well, that's cool. Well, now, now you've got one more product I want to show. I can't, what we were talking about too with your, with your Jackie up, another thing that helps you with is the salt. Now in Colorado we have magnesium chloride which eats everything. It eats right. your trailer, it eats your wiring, your plastic. Yeah. And you know the jacks, you got a lot of wire in there on an electric one, you right. got all kinds of things. You don't want that to get eaten. So if you get rid of the jack that would probably help that salt corrosion Absolutely. thing. You yeah. take that couple hundred dollar jack 
and if you could take it off the trailer every time you're going down the road, uh -huh. now you don't have that road salt issue on your nice jack. Yeah. So take this and put it in the back of your pickup or put it in the trailer, put it someplace out of the winter's road salt and let you let this jack last a lot longer. Oh yeah, that's a good that deal. Standpoint. And well, it's still the same even with the even with the less expensive, you know, yeah, side you wines and top wines. You know, crank, why, yeah, why eat true. them up? Well yeah, and John gets down inside there and they're not all of them even have grease right. search, but that's right. that's a big deal. Magnesium chloride, I hate it, wish they would Absolutely. But it ruins everything. Yeah, absolutely. So no, that's a good point. Yeah. So this will stop that too. Stop that problem. Again, it's kind of our, our motto has been the jack is the only part of the trailer you don't need when you need the trailer. So yeah. you have it in the way. Yeah. So take it off. Get, it out of the Get way. rid of it. <laughs> That's right. Cool. Okay. Great. You got so many cool products to go with your Jackie up. And you, can you name them all Jackie up something? Well, they're all the Jackie <laughs> brand of something, yes. Okay. Now this is a leveling jack off of like an RV, toy hauler or any of those things. I've got them. And they're a pain in the butt, especially in the back of my trailer. They hang way down low. Right. And, you know, we go off-road quite a bit, and we're dragging them in the mud. We're dragging them. Yeah. And you're a system so I can take the darn things off. Show me how that works. So what we've got is we really have taken our, our Jackie Up round-based unit, which has the notches cut out of it here for the round-based jacks, and you would bolt that up to your trailer. So this is all that stays on the trailer now. Okay. Then when you're ready to put your scissor jack on, you just bring your jack up into place this way. It fits into there. You would turn it like that, and now your jack is held into place. Well, that was you, fast. You jack it up. You jack your trailer up when you're ready to go at the end of the day. You just turn that again, and this will drop back out of there. You drag that back out and throw it in the back of the trailer. So this uh, is yeah. all that's left on the trailer well, as you're down the road. That's good, because those trailers always have a big tail on them. Absolutely. And, and swing through up, the I've seen more of these look like this. Yes. and they're yeah, the and and then the they do like this. The RVs so. don't have real high-quality jacks, so right. you got to be careful with right. them. Right. So I like but to get rid of them. That's good. a real simple way to do it, and since the weight of the of the jack once you go to stable as the weight of that jack is pushing up it's pushing back on this original foot so you still have the same amount of force pushing up right on. that's good that's a good idea yeah. that's that's yeah. we're, we're gonna you'll be seeing us demonstrate that on the trade you send us a couple out there and we're going to use them right well thanks ken you got the coolest right. stuff thanks you're here at the natda well, in your booth and hopefully the trader folks appreciate what you've done. Well, we're getting a lot of good responses out of it. Well, that's great. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, here, Mr. Truck at the NATDA. I'm in Equalizer's booth. Equalizer Systems, they're the make the big jacks. The jacks we use on my trailers, the jacks, you know, they're big in the horse industry, RV industry. And they've got a new product this year. It's the 10th anniversary of the NATDA. And I'm with Jason Kinney? Kinney. Kinney, okay, yes, I was close. So what is this snake? Tell me what it does. This here is our stay charge. Biggest complaint we have are people's batteries dying. So what we've come up with is this four gauge wire in our nylon braided um, cover here. This hooks up to your truck battery. You okay. run it down your truck, hook this in the back. This harness here hooks up to the battery on your trailer. When your battery's dead, you plug it in, instant power from your truck. And then this will also charge your battery much faster than the trickle charger you have on your seven-way plug. Oh yeah, that's true. That that seven-way is very slow. So this is instant power. I mean, that sounds cool because a lot of dump trailers, like anything's got electrical power anything on Anything that has electrical yeah. power. I know with the dumps, they say you use it six to eight times and the battery's dead. This is going to help that problem. Well, that's cool. It looks like I could almost weld with that size of cable. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Everything's well, heavy duty comes with 100 amp breakers. Oh, the, are the breakers in the end, or no, where's the breaker? The breakers you attach to the Oh, end you here attach then, them. Okay. Yes. Oh, cool. Well, that's good. You got to be safe. Well, cool. Jason, this is good. I will, uh, thanks for showing it. No problem. Thank you. And we got tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the Truck Nuts book. Because we're truck nuts! <laughs> and we wrote the book, Truck Nuts. We're nuts about truck, the ultimate guide to buying a truck, or yep. looking at a truck, or judging a truck. You know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks, all that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test, up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well. And it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And, you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anywhere else. We do MPG tests, which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So, you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. 
And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts. <laughs>